housing applications, starts and permits. Some of this growing belief that we're getting a rate cut, will it possibly show up in this data? I know it's backward looking, but we've been seeing growing hopes for a, quite a bit of time. The builder's confidence data that looks out six months, it had a little bit of slight uptick yesterday. So, you know, rates have actually fallen uh, a little bit more than 1% since the highs of last year. So it's a little bit too early to get any of the lower rates into the data line. But I think the story going out is uh, we're worried about construction labor. Multifamily permits are near recession low. Single family permits have been falling. So you want to keep an eye on single family permits when the housing starts data comes out today and see if the decline in the last few months have uh, settled down any. All right. You know, I always thought real estate was about location, but apparently it's about inventory, Logan. It's really about inventory, at least nowadays. So inventory is growing. According to your data, back in March of 2022, we had 240,000 single family homes for sale. Last week, you said that's 650,000, obviously more than double, doubling. But here's a real question. Is that enough to meet demand? Is that a, enough to lower prices that just seem to keep going up and up? Price cut percentages have been increasing since the end of March, so the price growth data should cool down this year, and especially in the second half. But I think the best story for housing 2024 is that inventory is off of its extreme low level. So if mortgage rates go down towards 6% or lower, we're going to have a lot more choices for Americans. We're not going to have this 75 or 80% of the marketplace be multiple bids. So I think that's the positive story. We're ready for lower rates if it happens, where we weren't ready for lower rates in 2022 and 2023. All right, so you're saying if it happens, we're ready. Um, one area of the housing market that has been a lot of questions about just due to the rise of uh, prices is the lower end and the middle uh, tier when it comes to housing buyers. When we look at that inventory, how much of that is uh, priced for them? You know, unfortunately, affordable housing is almost like a myth here in America. Um, inventory is growing generally on all levels, but more than 40% of the growth in inventory comes from Texas and Florida. And a lot of that is basically uh, property taxes and insurance has made housing uh, less affordable in those areas on all price points. Uh, the only way to alleviate affordability is either rates come down uh, uh, low enough or rates and prices come down. Prices, it's on a national level, we're not there yet. Uh, but affordability will happen when rates come down and uh, wages grow. So this is going to be a, probably a multi-year process. Uh, but we are in such a better spot uh, if rates fall. I don't think we're going to get the 10, 15, or 20% home price gains uh, ever again. As long as inventory stays at this level and keeps on going high, higher, that'll be good over the next few years for the housing market.